a longtime Bernie area resident and Southwest Airlines pilot, is lauded as a hero in a harrowing emergency landing, as well as for her pioneering role in a career where she is one of the few women at the controls. God put people on that plane for a reason. Everybody acted and uh, everybody stood strong. Following more than two decades in prison for trafficking cocaine, former Presidio County Sheriff Rick Thompson is released from custody. It was uh, extremely upsetting to the community. A lot of uh, law enforcement people initially came out for him. There was a letter writing campaigns. And so when he pled guilty, it inflicted a huge psychological blow on the community. And San Antonio Animal Care Services seizes more than 50 dogs, cats, and exotic birds from a West Side home. I'm Chance Dorlin with your express briefing for Friday, April 20th. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts. And get each day's top news and sports headlines delivered to your inbox at expressnews.com slash newsletters. Longtime Bernie area resident Tammy Jo Schultz, one of the first female fighter pilots in the U.S. Navy, was the captain piloting Dallas-bound Southwest Airlines Flight 1380 when it made an emergency landing Tuesday in Philadelphia after one of the engines on the Boeing 737 exploded while the plane was traveling 500 miles per hour at 30,000 feet with 149 people on board. After shrapnel hit the plane, passengers say they had to rescue a woman who was being blown out of a damaged window, with the woman later dying of blunt force trauma. But 56-year-old Schultz, who greeted and hugged passengers after the ordeal, kept a bad situation from becoming much worse. With a recording of her steady, matter-of-a-fact conversation with air traffic controllers going viral, making her an instant national hero. In Bernie, Schultz and her husband, Dean, also a Southwest Airlines pilot, have earned a reputation as strongly religious, community-minded people with two young adult children. In a statement, Schultz and First Officer Darren Ellisor say they felt like they were simply doing their jobs. While Schultz's heroism has now become part of that story, federal transportation authorities are still expressing concern after Tuesday's destructive engine failure on her Southwest Airlines jet. AP correspondent Mike Gracia has more. Federal regulators are racing to find out if Tuesday's failure of an engine on a Southwest Airlines jet that led to a passenger death and an emergency landing signals a wider problem. NTSB Chairman Robert Sumwalt says the engine involved has been a workhorse, but... If we feel that this is a deeper issue, we have the capability to issue urgent safety recommendations. The FAA says in the next two weeks it will issue a directive requiring inspections of certain CFM 567B engines. Initial findings from investigators show Tuesday's emergency was caused by a fan blade that snapped off. After serving 26 years in prison for smuggling 2,421 pounds of cocaine worth about $50 million, former Presidio County Sheriff Rick Thompson, now 72 years old, is a free man. I spoke to San Antonio Express News reporter John McCormack about the 1991 drug case for this week's episode of the In-Depth Podcast, available for free download at expressnews.com slash podcasts. Uh, December of 1991, I think it was December 4th, federal agents discovered uh, uh, more than a ton of high-grade high cocaine in a horse trailer at the Presidio County Fairgrounds, and it was a horse trailer that belonged to the county, and they very quickly linked Rick Thompson to this enormous uh, load of cocaine. And that was the beginning of the uh, of his downfall. Initially, he he claimed uh, that it was a one-man sting, which was not met with much credibility anywhere. Despite originally being sentenced to life in prison, earlier this week, Thompson was released from a halfway house. Rick Thompson pled guilty uh, in a sealed plea bargain back in 1991, and it was eventually forced public by the Dallas Morning News, which filed a lawsuit. And when everybody read it, they saw that he had admitted to all these things and that it was learned the prosecutors had agreed to recommend a sentence of 10 years to the judge. Well, when the sentencing came, the judge saw things differently, and he gave Mr. Thompson two life terms without any chance of parole, which means you die in prison. Somewhere in the last, I think, five or six years, there was a change in federal sentencing guidelines, and retroactively, it allowed Rick Thompson to apply for parole. 
And the judge uh, last year uh, granted him parole. And this week, Animal Care Services served an animal cruelty warrant at a West Side home to seize more than 50 dogs, cats, chickens, and birds, including a peacock. Across the street in the 200 block of Pendleton, neighbor Deborah Rodriguez says everyone on the street knew about the woman, whose name has not been released, and her animals, noting they are, quote, like her family. ACS says they received a call that the woman had been collecting an assortment of stray dogs, cats, and exotic birds for some time. Investigators were seen carrying out plastic and wire kennels of all sizes containing a wide assortment of animals. Chicken, ducks, parrots, and at least one pheasant were seized. And that's your daily San Antonio Express News Briefing for Friday, April 20th. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts. I'm Chance Dorland.